Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January 2021. I figured we'd skip ahead just to see what's up, right? So, what do we have for Capricorn for January 2021? We're going to start right here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A lot of you are going to watch this before January. I'd urge you to watch it again in January because it is intended for then. So what do we have for Capricorn? One card, please. Choose wisely. Ooh, seven of Cups. So you're going to have to make a choice. And you better choose wisely because this is a win or lose situation. Okay, so you're going to have to make a very... A prominent choice in regards to your future. You may need to take a time out to make that choice. Okay? Um, this probably is not going to be an easy decision. You're going to be presented with... This is big. Okay? It's a very big choice. It's, it's in regards to your future. It may have to do with your living circumstances. It may have to do with your work or your job or your relationship. Whatever it is. There will be consequences for your choice in either direction. So choose wisely. You're going to be making a very prominent choice this month. Okay. Um, now, if you are the cross watcher, this reading could be for you. Keep that in mind. These readings can go vice versa. So what do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person. Deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. So while you are making your choice, make sure you are making it based on your needs. Based on what you deserve. Okay, what do you deserve? Because you're, you're going to be making this choice and you tend to choose what other people want. What do you want? That's going to be your deciding factor. What do you want? What do you want, Capricorn, in January? Because you're going to be making a choice in which, you know, what's going to be the best option for you. So what do we have? What do we have? I do apologize. It must be somebody going through the, the cans out there. Um, what do we have for Capricorn for January? Three of Wands. There could be some travel. There could be this could be in regards to travel. Could be in regards to moving your decision. Be get prepared. Get prepared to decide. Do you want to get on that boat or not? Do you do you want to go to that place or not? That is the, that's the question. Okay. Get prepared for or an arrival or a departure. It could go either way. Um, what you've been waiting for. It's finally right here. It's right in front of you. Okay, you've been waiting for this moment. Now you have to choose. What are you going to do next? What's your next path? Okay, so this is going to be a very prominent month for you. Oh, it looks like you. this does have to do with leaving something. Leaving something behind. So you may be moving. Some of you guys may be moving. Whatever's happening, this has to do with uh, saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to something, going to a better place, uh, leaving something behind. You're going to be leaving something behind this month. Ooh. So this is breaking free. Breaking free from something that is unhealthy, that is toxic, that is not good for you. Okay, I think that you have been bound to a situation for quite some time, tied to it, stuck, trapped trapped somewhere but now you have an opportunity to break free you are gonna you're breaking free from this whatever it is okay now it's time for you to just do it and hope for the best and I do think that's what you're gonna do I think that you are about to step into new territory okay I think that you are going to uh, be building a new alliance or with somebody else or a, a contract or an agreement with somebody else I think that whatever you've been waiting for is about to happen. It's about to come to fruition. You've been waiting a long time. Maybe you started this process in October. 
and now it's January because we I, I was just looking at this I don't know why that came to my mind but it did and now it's time to move in you know something like that um, but this is breaking free from an unhealthy situation that you were trapped in going to a better place leaving the disappointment behind where you've been leaving it behind you four of cups four of cups is missing an opportunity ignoring an opportunity because this is this is an opportunity for love that isn't even being acknowledged you may have been ignoring an opportunity focusing on a third party or a loss or something you've been focusing on something and missing an opportunity for love but i feel like you know you're still going to be sad you're still going to be sad because you may be leaving, you are leaving something behind. You are leaving something behind. You may be leaving somebody somebody behind that is emotionally withdrawn. This person is withdrawn. This person is cold. This person doesn't communicate well. Uses emotional blackmail to control you. Um, doesn't have good intentions. There is somebody here that... Um, is is uh, very secretive and closed off. I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. And it doesn't matter what sign it is. I think that you have somebody here that you're leaving behind that you used to love. Or you do love or something like that. Um, it could even be memories. You could be leaving behind some memories, you know. Anyhow, I do feel like it's going to be an emotional time. I think that you're going to be... It's going to be hard to leave this behind, whatever it is that you're leaving behind. I think it's going to be difficult. I think that you're going to feel um, sad. I think that you're going to feel sad over it. Um, you may even, you know, shed some tears over it. I think you may have a hard time mastering your emotions as you're saying goodbye because this is the end of something. It is. When you say goodbye, it's the end of something. So it, we definitely have, it may be a friend, it may be family members, it could be friends that, you know, whoever it is, it's people that um, you, you're parting ways from somebody that is probably against you. They compete with you all the time. They're extremely competitive. They're not really your friends. They don't really help you. I feel like, uh, you know, this is this is people that don't support you. You're parting ways from people that don't support you. I feel like, and I don't know if it's if it's family members or friends or whatever, but it's people that talk behind your back. They don't support you. They've caused you a lot of sorrow, but you're leaving them behind now. I think that you're leaving them behind. I don't think it's easy at all. Um, there could be some gossip this month. Still, people are still talking about you. They're talking behind your back. I think you need to be careful. I feel like uh, you definitely have some pe friends that, that, some enemies that are disguised as friends, okay? They're not really, really your friends. Um, I think you have, there's some expectations that have been dashed and uh, you may be emotional over it. You may be emotional over the, you know, loss. But you have to walk away. So I do think that you are choosing to walk away. This is your this is your choice. Okay, this is your choice. This is where you're at that crossroads and you have to make a choice. Do you stay? Do you stay or do you go? I think you're going to go. I think that you're going to go. I think that you're ready to go. I think you're going to make the wise choice. I think in the past you were dealing with friends or family that didn't support you, that didn't stick by you, that caused you a lot of discontent, perhaps didn't open up to you emotionally, didn't take care of you, and now you have an opportunity to break free and broaden your horizons and go someplace you've never been. This may be at a distance. You may be moving someplace that you've never been. I mean, this is at a distance, okay, moving, moving away somewhere. Um, that three of wands could be travel, it could be expansion, overseas, could be even international for some of you. Anyhow, I feel like you are going to be at that pivotal moment where you have to choose right now. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? Um, 
This is about focusing on the future and leaving the past behind. You definitely have somebody here who broke your heart. And I think that that's going to be the hardest thing to leave behind is this person that broke your heart. Okay, this is a heartbreaker right here. So somebody broke your heart. And whether it's a man or a woman, and we have we have a broken heart here. They broke your heart. But I feel like you are breaking free from that poor person because you are choosing to, fo choosing to focus on the future. You have a new opportunity here. You do. And you are ready to receive. You're ready to receive balance. You have a lot to offer. And I feel like, you know, you are receiving something that is going to help you to break free. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's a loan. Um, maybe it's a pay raise. Maybe it's a bonus. You're receiving some sort of payout that helped or a loan or something that helps you to uh, break free from whatever this situation is. You're receiving some sort of money. Ah, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now this is... <sighs> going to cost you. It's also going to cost you some money. You may receive, maybe you receive a loan, but you have to pay it back. It's not going to be easy. There's something going on here. It's like there's re you're receiving something a value, but it's going to cost you money. You know what I mean? So maybe it's a loan. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, you're going to receive something, but it's going to cost you. You're going to have to give deep, deep thought. Okay, you're going to need to have discipline. And you need to take action. You have to remember that whoever broke your heart doesn't complete you. You complete you. This is somebody who lets their insecurities get in the way. Nobody completes you. You complete you. You complete you. So you have to do what's right for you. That's why this is here. So when you're making this choice, you're going to be making a very difficult choice this month. This is a choice between the past and the present, past and the future. Really, it is. You have an opportunity to step into new territory, to step into a new I don't know. It looks like a ship. There's a ship there. A step on board a new journey. Go on a new journey. Whatever. A move. Maybe it's moving somewhere and leaving something behind that you were tied to. This is a big, big step. But I feel like you uh, need to remember who you are. You need to choose what's best for you. And remember that the person that broke your heart didn't see the love that you had to offer. They didn't see the love. They didn't. They didn't. So, I feel as though you will be broadening your horizon, horizons, going someplace. You've been waiting for this moment. You've been anticipating it. The time has come for you to go, to break free from this toxic, environment that you have been engaged in. I think that you will be leaving. You are going someplace this month. You really are. You absolutely are. There's no doubt about it. You're going someplace. You're leaving behind a unhealthy situation where there was a lot of disappointment. Where you're, and I feel like you were really, really heartbroken. Uh, and I feel like you're going to feel un insecure and you're going to feel unstable. But you are very capable of being successful. You have the skills. You just have to remember who you are. You do. Um, so this month, I feel like you're going to be making a very difficult decision. This decision does uh, involve... Uh, parting ways from people. There's people, not just one person, from people. It's people that uh, didn't have your back. These people didn't have your back. They didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't really open up to you fully. Six of Swords. You're definitely moving. 
You're moving. You're going someplace. You're moving on. You're moving. And I think whoever you are de- that you are breaking free from is also going to be sad. Whoever you, because they are going to they're going to realize that they didn't treat you well. I feel like you are acting out of self-love. And I feel like you have a new opportunity for love. I think things are going to get better for you as soon as you move. You're moving this month. I don't know where you're moving to, but you're moving somewhere. You have a new start in love. You do. You have a new start in love. Whether it's self-love, maybe maybe it's, a, it's, it's in your own heart. It's definitely going to be an emotional month because saying goodbye to something is emotional. It is emotional. So I, I don't know if you're dealing with another Capricorn or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, either way, I feel like you've been in a situation where there's been a lot of sadness and it's time for you to go. It is definitely time for you to go. So this month, I, I feel like you're going to be uh, going someplace where there's a lot more peace. There's a lot more serenity. Um, there's a whole lot less problems, you know, where you can just relax. But you are parting ways, and it could be with family members or friends or people that just don't contribute. I think you're going, you're not, you're not taking those people with you. Good luck.